Are you struggling with paper punch lists out on your project sites? Well, let's talk about how a digital solution might help you with that. Hi, I'm Eric Thomas. You might recognize me as the host of Autodesk Digital Builder podcast, and I've worked in construction for over a decade now, including for two top ENR general contractors before I moved into the world of construction technology. A punch list, or a snag list if you're not in the United States, is a document showing the remaining work on a construction project that must be completed before project handover. That being said, the punch list process can be a hard thing to define to one specific activity because it can mean different things to different roles or different companies. For today, we'll define a punch list as a means to track additional actions that need to be performed during the construction process, especially for teams working in the field. A punch list can be created during something simple like a weekly site walk, where the project team reviews what's been completed since the previous week. This list could include simple housekeeping tasks or refer to a standardized list of items that must be finished before project closeout. Because punch lists often cover so many responsibilities, they can be difficult to track without having a standardized system in place. During my career, I've talked to many project managers who would rely on paper punch lists. The portability was nice during site walks, but paper can be easily lost or even destroyed by accidental tears or even a dreaded coffee spill. Many PMs found it difficult to understand what the punch list was asking them to do without having photos or additional notes to reference. Additionally, it can be quite challenging to standardize the format of a paper punch list, not to mention the cost to print out dozens of copies for each project. Of course, we've all met someone that's reluctant to even consider technology for things like punch lists because they feel it complicates a seemingly simple process. But as projects and teams scale in size, that process isn't so simple. And what results is critical items are missed, sometimes causing schedule delays, which ultimately impacts your margins. More importantly, many contractors are frustrated with a lack of big picture insights from handwritten paper documentation. For instance, a GC might be having the same problem with a subcontractor repeatedly, but they may not ever notice without reviewing their superintendent's punch lists to find this out for themselves. So by digitizing punch lists in a tool that makes the process as simple as using paper, you address these problems. No more rainy days with clipboards and pens that won't write, or hearing claims that technology overcomplicates things. More importantly, for folks watching the bottom line, you'll have access to the data no matter where you're at or what device you're using. Now, I doubt this news will surprise you, but Autodesk Build can do exactly that. The Issues tool lets you filter directly to your punch list items or any custom issue type you capture. Issues can be attached as references to things like checklist forms, photos, RFIs, and assets. You can even add location data, the root cause of problems, and pin an issue to a sheet or model to visually communicate where the item is on site. All of that data can be tracked through connected dashboards like Power BI to show how often these issues are occurring, the impact they have, and why they're happening. With issues, the punch list information becomes searchable, filterable, and reportable within a collaborative environment. This is easy to do using your mobile app in the field or from your laptop back in the office. Build also lets you create repeatable and standardized punch lists, making it easier than ever to manage critical action items. So now you know what a punch list is and the limits field teams face with the manual paper-based process, when you digitize your punch list with Autodesk Build, your data becomes more accessible and you'll unlock company-wide insights for the entire project team. Thank you for joining us on this episode of our Tech Tips series. If you want more information, just click on the link in the description down below. Of course, if you found this information helpful, please remember to like and share the episode, and don't forget to subscribe so you're in the loop on future episodes.